Hello friends. You all know that in today's fast-paced world, the use of technology has become inevitable. It has enhanced our lives for the better in many ways. Its impact on our lives has been so profound, bringing about numerous positive changes. From enhanced connectivity and communication to improved transportation, security and healthcare, technology has revolutionized various sectors, making our lives easier and more efficient. The field of education too has experienced a significant transformation, particularly during the COVID-19 pandemic. The closure of schools highlighted the invaluable role of technology in facilitating remote learning during the pandemic. This compelled us to think information and communication technology, that is ICT, as a viable alternative to traditional face-to-face -face mode of teaching and learning. Even now, the blended mode of learning has emerged as a preferable choice among learners of all ages and backgrounds. This not only allows us for reaching a wider audience, but also ensures that the quality of content remains uncompromised. I understand that adaptation to the new technology can be overwhelming and the sudden transitioning to ICT posed many challenges for you. However, the experience has certainly prompted us to reconsider its use keeping in view the future. It is worth noting that the new education policy recognizes the importance of technology in education. It aims to enhance the teaching and learning process, improve access to education, besides providing professional development to different stakeholders. But before we move any further, let us have an overview of how different policy documents envisaged the learning in grades three to five, specifically in the area of science, social science, and environmental education. In 1975, the curriculum of the 10 years school, a framework recommended environmental studies as a composite subject, including science and social science at the entire primary stage. It sought teaching both the natural and social sciences through a teacher's handbook in classes one and two. Later, from classes three to five, it recommended EVS as a separate subject consisting EVS one for the natural science component and EVS two for the social science component. To elevate the curricular burden on young children, the National Curriculum Framework 2000 recommended EVS as an integrated subject and the National Curriculum Framework 2005 endorsed this further. However, to strengthen the integrated aspect, it proposed thematic approach instead of the topic-based approach. The shift aimed to foster a holistic understanding of the subject by blurring the subject boundaries aligned with the interdisciplinary aspects of the subject. The recent National Curriculum Framework for School Education 2023 also emphasizes holistic, integrated, experimental, and exploratory approaches. These approaches align with the core principles that I mentioned earlier, in addition to embracing cross-cutting areas such as Indian knowledge system, art education, vocational education, and value education. Various research studies have highlighted the misconceptions surrounding the interpretation of environmental studies as a subject area, which are prevalent among various stakeholders, ranging from policymakers to the individuals at the grassroots level. Some of them perceive environmental studies as equivalent to the field of science, while others view it primarily as environmental education. Consequently, there have been instances but the states have even introduced social science as a separate subject. In order to avoid the varied interpretations, the National Education Policy 2020 has recommended replacing EVS with the world around us for classes three to five at the preparatory stage. 
It seeks inculcation of the desired competencies of this area through experiential learning among children. Further, it seeks to reduce the curricular load by relying less on the facts presented in the textbooks and focus more on activities and experiences in the real lives of students. With the primary goal of fostering the comprehensive growth of learners and empowering them with essential 21st century competencies, the NEP 2020 and the NCF School Education 23 strongly emphasize the integration of the ICT tools and resources. The preparatory stage curriculum in the NCF deals with the language, maths and the world around us as subject areas which include the cross-cutting areas like art education, physical education and vocational education. Being an interdisciplinary area, the world around us has maximum potential to integrate the cross-cutting areas. Friends, you might know that it encourages exploration and understanding of both the natural and the social world, which enables the students to gain a deeper appreciation for the world they live in and develop a sense of responsibility towards it. Building upon the ethos of NEP 2020, this ICT package has been developed to help you to enhance the educational journey of children, to promote meaningful learning experiences aligned with the overarching vision of the NCF School Education 23. The videos provide valuable support to children by presenting content in a progressive manner, starting with simpler concepts and gradually introducing more complex ideas. The carefully selected content allows children to connect with their own experiences, making it relatable and meaningful to their lives. Additionally, the duration of the programs has been thoughtfully considered, taking into account the attention span of children in the 8 to 11 years of age group. The contextualization of the content further enriches their understanding, helping them grasp the concepts more effectively. The videos present a diverse array of ideas and issues that extend beyond the scope of traditional textbooks. With their animated forms and illustrations, these videos are particularly joyful and engaging for children aged 8 to 11 years. The videos are organized thematically and cover a range of topics, starting from simpler con concepts in classes 3 and progressing to more complex ones towards class 5. These are available in Hindi, English and sign languages and can also be adapted in any of the regional languages. Schools and educational institutions in different states and union territories are free to adopt, adapt, or you know, develop them afresh as per their needs. You will also appreciate that the video resources are holistic, age appropriate, and engaging. These videos have been designed to help the learners acquire the desired competencies and achieve the class-wise learning outcomes. These can be used to supplement the world around us curriculum for grades 3 to 5 besides other areas such as mathematics, language, art education, value education, Indian knowledge system and vocational aspects in an integrated manner which can help reduce the overall curriculum load for students. Friends, the primary goal of creating this package is to enhance and facilitate the learning of children at the preparatory stage, while also catering to the diverse needs of the learners. The package has tremendous potential to bridge the learning gap for children from the disadvantaged backgrounds who have fallen behind and are most vulnerable to dropping out. It will allow them to learn at their own pace and convenience. Furthermore, the ICT package will greatly support the hearing impaired in learning and help them reach the same level as that of their peers. It offers learning opportunities that prioritize quality and ensure equitable access to education for all learners, regardless of their context, 
background, abilities or interests. These can be used in classrooms to facilitate and encourage discussions at a given point of time along with or gaining hands-on activities for experiential learning. Besides providing opportunities for extending the learning beyond classrooms. Additionally, the videos can accommodate various learning modes such as blended learning, flipped classrooms, online learning or offline learning. It's worth noting that both the NEP 2020 and the NCF 23 also focus on self-learning, self-assessment and metacognition and encourage learners to self-regulate the pace of their learning as per their abilities. Friends, when you go through our learning package videos, you will find that these provide opportunities and suggestions for hands-on activities, discussions, projects and assessment as you proceed from one concept to another. The reliance on textbooks is also less and provides the scope for extending beyond the text. You can pause the video at a given moment to engage children in meaningful discussions and encourage them to provide their own responses. You will also be able to conceptualize and design learning experiences as per the needs and abilities of learners. I hope by now you have a fair idea of this package and how to use it effectively for teaching and learning with children. Please do watch the video Know Your Spices. It will provide you insights of using the other video programs to create interesting, joyful and age-appropriate learning experiences for children. Happy learning to all of you.